Hey everybody, Isaac Rendell here. I am here. Goat Bread's here too. He's not going to be in... Uh, he's he's going to be pretty much just doing his thing in the background today. Um, I'm sitting at the witch farm, kind of just enjoying the view of the uh, of the ranch. It's amazing looking from a distance. Side A and Side B are actually looking pretty cool. Uh, Goat Bread's plan today, since I've been sitting over here at the witch farm... Uh, AFK and uh, Goat Bread's thinking about tearing down his Site A house. I just wanted to let you guys know that, uh, like, I know he just said that I am here, but um, my I will not be being able to talk uh, except for now because, like, I will be in the other room because, like, computer trouble and stuff. But uh, till then, I bid you goodbye from a goat nearby whenever I have to. Good luck. Anyway, so yeah, Goat Bread is, uh, he's, he's doing better when he's hardwired, so his laptop has to be hooked right up into his wall, unfortunately. So it is just us on the vocals, but we'll be seeing Goat Bread doing his thing. Uh, he's thinking about tearing down his Site A house, um, which I have mixed feelings about. One, I like it, I like his little house. Two, it's a mob farm, <laughs> that thing. <laughs> That thing he does he hasn't lit he hasn't lit it up very well or anything like that and uh, he uh, ooh fun little lag spike uh, I, I put a ladder on the witch farm also because uh, goat bread was having having issues getting up to the actual uh, AFK station um, okay we got a little bit more got a little bit more glowstone which is what I wanted. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, his his house, um, it does tend to draw in, it does tend to draw in the zombies and skeletons and creepers, oh my, uh, that will come right over into site A, no matter how well I have it lit up. Uh, I'll show you what I've been working on over here. If, uh, wow, man, I'm having the lag spikes now. Woo! Look at that. Anywho. Um, so uh, I went ahead. I've been working on lighting this place up. And what I've done here is I'm just taking green wool carpet. I'm putting uh, glowstone down and uh, just making it so that these are lit up. I've got a nice little... Whoop, collecting eggs. I've got a nice little walk area that's going over to the farm. And uh, I think over time, this is going to be pretty nice. Uh, we got some nice organization going on here, finally. Uh, not the best, and I don't plan on keeping it this way, but this is what we got for right now. And I did tear down the... Um, I tore down the original auto smelter over here, but I have not rebuilt it inside. I don't know if I'm going to need to. I might just go ahead and start throwing the things that I plan on using for uh for fuel in here to be smelted um either way i don't know we'll see how it works we'll see how it works uh for right now though what i wanted to do is since we got that kitchen done over at site a what i figure we would do let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get the shield out of the way um i got i got the sheep put away but I'm thinking what we need to do is go ahead and finish the uh, the dining area because I feel like the kitchen is unfinished uh, with everything that we've got going on here. So now that the sheep, I, I shuffled the colors around also. I put the the uh, the white through uh, through brown over here. I got the green lime sheep over here just because I didn't really have another place to put them. And they've got a fun little two door entrance into their massively oversized thing here. I might actually make their pen smaller and do something else with this. Maybe maybe move the uh, wheat farm for these guys over here. Um, <clears throat> but we are getting to the point where uh, we're going to start having to build smaller residence ho uh, resident houses on the area for villagers who are going to be our workers, and we're going to have shepherds over here. Maybe a farmer or two. But, for right now, let's go ahead and finish what we got over here. 
And everything that I need to do this is right here. Um, got a little bit stuff going on because I've decided I've, I've t I uh, have gone into the creative world and tossed some ideas around uh, on my little house clone that I've got. Um, but uh, what I have decided is I'm going to put another pillar here to round off the room, kind of frame it. And then we're going to go ahead and get rid of this little nook. I tried using it. I tried it for a bunch of different things. And no matter what, I could not figure out what I was going to do with it. But we still have this side in the living room, which we will keep. Which we will keep. Uh, for right now, though, I would like to go ahead and get on some stuff. So let's go ahead and gonna move this stuff up. Probably don't need a shovel. We will keep the rest of that, though. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these out of my shulker box. Take out my shulker box. And uh, start start with a little plant in the corner, I think. Because, I don't know, these things just... Uh, these make the room just a little bit more rounded out, you know? And I was thinking about doing another one right here. Uh, we'll see how it looks. See how it looks when it's done. But uh, that's yeah, it doesn't interfere with the walking in, and that works well for me. I do want to take these and get this done right quick. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna put that here, that here, and I want the skeleton sitting on the rows. think that might be too big so I don't know we'll see we'll see what happens oh no that's exactly the same size so that is great we're just gonna get rid of Donkey Kong there there he is that's what I want I want that picture I just like that one a lot all right so that being said I do want to get rid of the redstone Ooh. Gonna get rid of the redstone here. And the reason I've done that is because I want to have a chandelier in my ceiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these in. There we go. And we're gonna do a different type of lighting, not the redstone for this one. Uh, let's see, what was it that I wanted to do? Go ahead and a couple more pieces of sandstone. Sandstone slabs. There we go. So this is looking pretty good so far. It's a nice open room, but it's going to be a lot more crowded now. Um, actually thinking about knocking out this window also and putting a nice uh, big window, kind of like what we have over here, over there. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember exactly how I had this. Let's see, let's get the sandstone out for me. Well, you know what? Let's start with chairs. Chairs will be more easy to control. And the way I'm doing the chairs is I'm going to put these down. We will actually need a shovel now that I'm thinking about it. that and there nice tall back chairs these will actually let you sink down a little bit there we go and okay so if we put sand there and sand there we'll be able to do this just like that And same thing goes over here. That and that. And 
Let's see. There we go. So there's our table. Let's go ahead and get our other chair together. GB playing with his uh, elytra in the house. All right, so we got that all set up. Let's go ahead and I wanted to have a interesting little light chandelier pattern, but I wanted to have a light above each chair. So what I'm going to do is this. It's nice and simple. Oh. I don't belong there. Just like that. And the way that I wanted to connect them, though, was like this. Oh, no. Not big enough. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's do what I always do and go get a couple more things that I forgot. There we go. I can't really say that I don't like flying back over anyway. Ooh, he has taken that place to the ground. Oh, he's in there working too. That is a dedicated kid. Okay, and this, this is a good excuse to show exactly how chains are made. Just go ahead and make four more. I'm not going to need four more. There he goes. Oh, I love flight. Flight is so much fun. There we go. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll check to see how that window looks too. And anybody can tell me what they think and we can possibly go back. Oh, GB, what are you doing, buddy? There be monsters out here, man. <laughs> Spider. Chasing them down. Nope, buddy. Not here for you. Alright, so what I wanted was that and that. So we have a nice little interesting, like, hanging from the ceiling light fixture going on here. Uh, so, the next thing that I wanted to do was not experience the lag because the lag is real we're going to put a square plate for each guy there and we'll go ahead and put drinks on the left for each person there we go and I'll say pie and we'll do chicken got anything else what's in the fridge Ooh, got fish Blue fish. I'm gonna put the pie in there. We'll do a pork chop. There we go. Looks like cheese. There we go. There we go. So yeah, there's our dining room. So I think right now, in my opinion, our kitchen's complete. I might want to open up this area. I don't know whether or not I should keep this dividing thing. I think this is good for like stability of the house. But um, as it is, I am very happy with the way this is. Now GB and I have a place we can come sit and enjoy a meal. And uh, <laughs> oh, it's nice. I think it's cute. It's a cute little thing. I was looking at designs for larger tables. In fact, I came up with some nice ones that would have let us have a runner and and uh, put like things in the tables, like centerpieces and flower vases and stuff like that. But um, I was uh, I was really concerned with the fact that the um, it was just going to be too cramped. I came up with a really nice one, but I had to knock down this whole wall to fit it properly. So I think this is what we've got for this house, and I'm, we're probably going to end up making many more houses, right? So that should not be a big deal. So I believe all we have left 
We got GB's room up there, which he's working on. That's his thing. Um, but we, we have our living room right here that needs to be filled in. And do something with the foyer. We might hang up a few paintings. This looks a little bare. Maybe I'll hang something up there. But like for right now, I mean, this is this is looking pretty great. I like the uh, I like the little kitchen table. This is really nice. Let's see what he's got going. I haven't been in his room for a little bit, so I like how the particles from his under chest are just like coming through here. Oh, his dog. Hey, buddy. Oh. Wow. Sparse. Kid needs to get a carpet or something. Some paintings on the wall. So, I think we are good on that one. Oh, I'm walking around with these guys just in case some just in case I see some zombie villagers in this area. Cuz uh this is getting pretty intense when it comes to some stuff. I wanted to see if I had uh I think we need to get some we need to get some glowstone. And we can get it from the witch. Uh, the witch farm, that's great. But I didn't want to AFK everything. That is a lot. Look at all those chickens. Oh, GB. You got this. Good job. I wonder if you'll uh, actually see this. Ask if he wants me to get the windows with silk touch. Oh, that's rude. I didn't mean to do caps. I'm not yelling at you. I think he read it. Yes. Okay. All right. So I've got a silk touch shovel here. That'll do the job. Oops. Zambies. Well, he noticed it. He'll get it. Yeah, unfortunately, when you break down a window and you're not using Silk Touch, you lose the glass. So, glad I can give him a hand. We reach? Yeah. We're going to have to think of something to do over here. Maybe we'll build a small house to make an entryway for the for the uh, spawner. Sounds like you broke something. Sounds like a tool broke. Might be a, might be good also if we can get rid of that <laughs> get rid of the lily pad bridge because it stops the what? Oh. Oh, I thought I was getting hit. I was getting shot. I thought goat bread was hitting me. Alright. Oh, wow. There's a drown over there. With a fishing pole. I got his box. Oh, I do. I do have his bag of holding. Okay. Put your glass inside. Whoops! Said that wrong. Put your glass inside. Alright. So this is nice. He's got a nice little area getting worked out here. And I like the fact that we're not going to have this mob magnet over here anymore. Because it was getting pretty bad. 
getting pretty bad. So, we are coming right, right along. The ranch is coming around. This is great. This is a great, uh, great progress we're making. I saw I put the end chest down here. Big brain time. <laughs> Big brain time. All right. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that. But I think I'm going to go into the nether. I'm going to need that chicken. Hmm. I need a pickaxe with silk touch, which I know I have somewhere. Trying to get everything all set up and working right. The uh, the organization, the the fight for organization is real. That is for sure. It's mending, silk touch, and efficiency. You know what? Maybe we should put these two together. I think that'll work. Silk touch. Let's see, that's actually really nice. So we'll just go ahead and do, what do we name this one? Pick of Fortune. So we'll do the same thing. We'll do Pick of Silk. We did have a Pick of Silk already. And I broke it. So, what had happened was I landed Oh, there it is. I landed in the, uh, I got into a fight, <laughs> basically. I got into a fight with creepers, and, uh, and they blew open a lava cavity, and they ended up blowing up my tools. I'm very lucky that I didn't lose any of my netherite stuff that I can think. I don't think my original pick of silk was... I don't think my original silk pick was netherite yet. But we are getting to that point where we get everything that we need. Let's go ahead and let him know what's going on. Alright. Just wanted to let him know. Just in case he needs anything. So here's our armor. Ooh, that's Curse of Binding. No. <laughs> no Curse of Binding, thank you. I will take the Protection 3, though. And uh, might be a good idea also, a smarter person would bring a bow of some kind. Whoa, what did he say? He said something. He said, cool as Kool-Aid, my dude. <laughs> He's a funny kid. It's very interesting playing next to, but not talking directly to GB. Whoa. Welcome to Pigtown. Jeez. So I want to find... I need to find glowstone that we can get easily. I think there's some still down here. We can use our silk pick. Ooh, that is... This is getting to the realm of not as easy. Okay, good, good. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to light up the, uh, I want to light up the ranch yard. And, uh, this is the best way I know how to do it. Oh, this is the worst part. <laughs> I don't know why I'm lagging so bad today. Where is my... Oh, there they are. Stairs. 
think I need to replace the the walkway here with something a little bit easier to notice. Wow, we are thinking that the nether is not a good idea right now. Ooh, I want you. Oh, I'm going to end up hitting that piglin. Oh, yeah, especially now. Gotcha. Whoa, one shot. Crazy. Okay, we're going to have to leave the nether because this is too much. Too much lag. Stinks, though, because I really want glowstone. Which I can, I can just save this part for later and, wow, GB is not the only one having issues. Let me see what the heck's going on here. All right, let's do this. Hopefully upping my stuff here isn't going to ruin GB at all. Okay, no, I'm still lagging. Wow. Whoa. All right. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to try to get out of here. Somehow, the fix that I just did seems to have made it worse. I'm waiting to hear GB come into my room and tell me that the uh, that he's having trouble. Ooh, too much fire. Wow. What is going on? I don't understand this. Whoa. That's awful. Hopefully the overworld's not acting up like that. Okay. Alright, yeah, no, it is. I think I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to stop for right now, guys. Um, anyway, so let me... There we go. I'm, uh... Sorry for how laggy this is. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and go and see if I can figure out what's going on with this, but uh, we uh, we went ahead and accomplished a bunch of stuff, so I think we got what we need to get done done. Um anyway, as always, keep playing with your kids, keep having fun and if uh, if you got anything to say, suggestions or comments, please let us know, like, subscribe, share all that junk. And uh, I will see you next time in this blocky world we're calling home. Hopefully next time we will not be having the lag issues. But uh, you guys have a great night and uh, keep having fun.